Do you think people misunderstand uh, how hard you train and what USRPT is? Because I feel like in the early days it was like, this kid just does minimal just 25s, 50s, 25s yeah. and I don't know if anybody's tried it, but I feel like you must have maybe the best pain tolerance of any swimmer because it is so <laughs> Maybe hard. not right now, but, <laughs> but I going into the Olympics, I think the biggest compliment I've ever been paid in my life was from Ryan Murphy. We were at the Olympic camp and we had done like some team meetings and he stood up and we were kind of giving each other shout outs, like a team building exercise. And Murph was, he stood up and he's like, I just want to shout out Michael for what he's been doing in training. At the time at our Olympic camp, I think I was doing almost 60, I was like 60 fifties every single morning. And I would start 20 fly, 20 breast, and then 20 medley or 20 free. And I was holding like 28 fives in the flies, like oh, what sort of rest are they on? 20 seconds between each 50. And so I was cranking these out. And so it was cool to see that. Cause I think in my head, you know, when you hear everyone be like, Oh, like you're not training hard enough and stuff. And like, I'm not going to these programs and seeing what they're doing. So it's like, I don't know how hard their work is compared to mine, yeah. but to see him, you know, and I know he works like he can't be built like he does and swim like he does without it to see him be like, this is crazy, like I wouldn't do that myself. I was like, it makes me feel really good. Um, so yeah, it is, USRPT is tough. Um, and it takes time to adapt, but there's a way for everybody to get involved. And I think that's what's cool about our method and our style of training is it's not unapproachable. It's just, you have to tailor it to your needs. I saw the, um, it was a couple months ago now, but the Brent Rushell, the founder of USRPT yeah. passed. Were, were you close with him? Very. Um, so I'm going to his memorial next weekend, next Sunday. And so I believe I was over, I think I was in Australia actually when he had passed. It was a few days before Duel in the Pool and I had gotten the text from his family and, and from my family. And so it's, it's sad to, to see him go, but his legacy in swimming will obviously live on. And so it's one of those things where we'll celebrate what he had done and kind of the methodology that he had you know, passed on to us. And so do my best to pioneer it and not screw it up. <laughs> but, but yeah, so all our thoughts go to their family. I think you're doing a great job, man. Uh, thanks so much for spending the time. I appreciate it. But my pleasure. This is awesome. Cool.